The relationship between mass and weight can be a constant source of confusion for students based upon the treatment of these concepts in previous science classes. Measuring the mass of an object directly and quantitatively can be a very difficult task, mainly because of the mass's interaction with the gravitational pull of the Earth. The inertial balance fills a void in your physics lab that cannot be filled with any other experiment associated with determining mass, utilizing a method that is independent of Earth's gravitational field. The inertial balance is clamped to a lab table, and a known mass is placed into one of the pre-drilled holes in the tray. When the balance is set into motion, it will oscillate horizontally, depending only on the mass in the tray. The horizontal motion of the inertial balance is caused by these metal straps that act as springs, and is independent of gravity which acts in the vertical direction. By placing the included masses one by one into the inertial balance, a graph of period versus mass can be generated. The rate of oscillation of the inertial balance would be the same on the Earth, on the Moon, or in space, as the motion is independent of gravity. A large version of the inertial balance has also been used on the International Space Station and in space shuttle experiments to determine the loss of mass experienced by astronauts during long microgravity missions in orbit. Using this unique device and finding mass without the confusion or complication of gravity will amaze students each and every time. In addition, emulating an experiment done by NASA is an excellent way to mimic real-world applications. All it takes is a little playing in Newton's lab.